We're very pleased to be joined now by the lovely and talented Jessica Niedemeyer from the Cranbrook Folk Trio Wild Honey. How Thank you doing? Thank you. I'm doing great. Uh, so you're hard at work at the moment in rehearsing as a band and getting ready for another round of Barney Bental and the Caribou Express. Of course, your father being Barney Bental. What's yes. It, what's it like to be a part of this show again? It's amazing. It's such an honor. And um, we've been rehearsing a lot lately, practicing, and we'll get to join them for a song or two, which is a great honor for our band. So explain how the evening, how the show works for anyone that, that hasn't been to a Caribou Express show. Yeah, so it's a bit of, um, they call it a variety show. So it's um, a whole bunch of amazing musicians get together and they all play different songs at different times throughout the evening. And they're backed by the same incredible band. And they sort of base it like the Opry in Nashville a little bit. So each musician will come out and each song is sponsored by a company and They'll do a little monologue. And a real family affair for you. Of course, your brother is also on the bill along with your father and, and your group. Yes. What is that like to share the stage with, with those two? It's so much fun. It's uh, it's a blast up there with them. Of course, they're just a small part of, of the bill. There's uh, a lot of great artists. Uh, Ridley Bent. Yeah, Leroy Steger, Kendall Carson, um, Wendy Bird. There's, there's a whole crew of amazing musicians coming. And they're doing a total of 10 shows throughout Alberta, BC. You guys are just playing the Cranbrook show, but each show is, is, is a different, it's a local charity each night, isn't it? Yes, so each uh, city that they play in can choose a local charity for the proceeds to go towards. And it's a fantastic way to fundraise. And here in, in Cranbrook, you have Friends of Children Society. Yes. So Friends of Children is the charity that we've chosen. And they help families that have exceptional medical costs related to the health of their child. So they'll help with travel costs, for example, gas, meals, hotel. Um, and they get requests from families all over the East Kootenai region. Before I forget to mention, the show is, of course, Saturday, November 5th, yes. 7.30 p.m. at the Key City Theatre. Yes. And tickets are available at the Key City Theatre box office? They are. They're also, if you're interested in eight or more tickets, you can become a ticket wrangler, and you'll get recognition in the evening's program that night. Those are available through Friends of Children at ekoffice at friendsofchildren.ca. Very cool. And for you personally, what... Were you nervous last year? What was it like sharing the stage with your father and I your brother? I was nervous for sure, yes. It was nerve-wracking, but um, we were excited. It was really fun for Wild Honey to join them for a couple songs. It was it was a thrill. And when you look ahead for, for your group, is there anything on the horizon? Yes, we have a couple gigs, one in November, one in January. Um, we'd like to do some more recording this winter so yeah we've got a few things going on all right well you can stay tuned to your website which is wild honey wild honey band three number, number three? three dot com perfect well just thanks so much for joining us on go thank you the years go by so fast the good times they don't last let's do it all again